hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl A's in Neil Williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to the channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video okay guys so if you are a ninja and you are in Ghana that is if you are a Nengi Pengi fan and you are in Ghana have you met Nengi? Yes, people of God, your baby girl Nengi has been in Ghana for the past two days now. Yes, and she has been receiving lots and lots of gifts as you can see. And also, she will be on TV. She will be on Showbiz 360. Yes, and on Friday, she will also be on um, the show Expressive with Bliss and Jackie. Also, that will be on Friday by 9 a.m. So, if you are a ninja, make sure to tune in. So, if you are a fan of Lee Khan, yes, the icon's president, he is going to be having a tour of Dubai and you can actually join him. Yes, this will be happening in March, which is, yeah the third month of the year if you don't already know that so um lecon will be in dubai and he is giving you guys an opportunity to come roll with him all the details you need um you can go check that out on his instagram page okay guys let's talk about the one and only star girl erica lewidum i love love calling her that so erica started off her day yesterday telling us all about her achievements yes um about the notable alumni of covenant university her name is there um notable alumni for met film school her name is there also the most beautiful girl in nigeria her name is there i think this is a response to all the people that were saying a lot of trashy stuff about her basically she's telling you guys go and google me yes i am erica and i'm the star girl and there's a reason for that now also she also went ahead to let us know that that name star girl has been trademarked yes she posted this on her twitter page and said elite did it star girl has been trademarked now i've seen in a lot of blogs a lot of people are quite ignorant they don't really understand what this means a lot of people are like oh is this an achievement what 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 um do you know that beyonce actually fought to have um the blue ivy trademarked lots of companies you know fight to get their names trademarked um let me give you an example let me let you guys understand what trademarks mean or what when i say i've got my name trademark if I, for example if i trademark is in the williams what it actually means let me give you guys an instance for example this is youtube that name youtube no other streaming company can use it no other company at all can come out and say oh their name is youtube you're gonna be given a lot of they're gonna sue your ass let me just put it like that you know so she alone owns that name star girl and can use it in fact she is legally it's legally has so you cannot open a company and call yourself star girl co possible it's not possible at all so that is the magnitude of it you can actually get sued for using that name without her permission it's a brand basically so if you use that name and it's not a brand that is owned by erica you could get in serious trouble let's just leave it like that so i I hope people now get what it means because I see a lot of ignorance people saying stuff on blogs and I'm like, Google is actually your friend, people of God. Google is actually your friend. Now, moving on from Erica, let's talk about V. Yes. So V was on Hip TV and she had something to say. Of course, um, the interview was great. She was asked about other stuff, you know, but what the one that actually made headlines was the part where she talked about her relationship or her not so relationship with her um her boyfriend's relative or her boyfriend's sister, Venita. Here is what she had to say. I don't have a relationship with her. She's my boyfriend's relative. And, you know, you can't choose who your family is. It's cordial, I would say. Yes, guys, that was V, you know. And I love the fact that she kept it straight. You know, some people were like, oh, um, 
um, why would V say that and all that? My point is this. The feelings are very mutual. Even if you ask Venita today about V, I'm sure she's going to say the same thing. Because these are two queens that are very blunt. They will probably say the same thing. So, let's leave it like that. I just pray that Neil has, you know, God gives him the wisdom to be able to manage this you know properly in the right way because trust me it's not easy having a relative or a sister that does not like the person you are dating um there's gonna be at some point clash of interest but as um, a man as a person i pray he has the wisdom to be able to you know wiggle his way around it now before i continue with the gist people of god please go check out my girl tessie's corner people of god yes tessie's corner she is a growing youtuber and people of god her channel is very very educating trust me you know i will not ask you guys to go check out something that is not great you know that her channel is great it's educating and yeah very educative and i'm sure you are gonna thank me for it you know so please go show her some love because it's really not easy on this youtube streets trust me i know i'll drop the link in the description box and also pin it in in the comment section thank you all very much now people of god it looks like we have a new ship alert and now i don't know what name to give it now i used to think it was tochi and kaisha because you know kaisha went with him for his homecoming they were always together all of a sudden we saw this video of princess and tochi if you don't know princess she went to big brother Niger um double wahala she is quite i think she was the first person to leave the house yeah i think she was one of the you know they were in pairs so she and her partner forgotten who her partner is you know both of them left the house i think the first week or the second week but they were like the first people to be evicted and people know her because of her accent yes people of god you know um during the reunion she was asked about her accent so she started this whole accent queen thing you know so um <laughs> in this video you see both of them vibing together so is this a new ship alert and if it is what name are we gonna call them topri or what <laughs> oh god that sounds this <laughs> no i don't know what name we are gonna call them but let me know the preferable name you guys would love to call this you know um ship in the comment section somebody actually said that this is a ship of assets that's savage <laughs> now moving on hmm. now what has been making rounds on social media lately this is a clash of kanya mata and uh kanya mata basically and all those enhancers now the lady on your or the ladies on your screen are Number one, Jaruma. You all know her. Second, Miwa, who is also a Kayamata queen. And we also see here Toyin Lawani, who is a fashion, you know, entrepreneur. Now, um, hmm, how do we talk about this just now? Okay, let me give you guys, let me start from where I can start from. So, these three people were, um, I think, okay jaruma and miwa were once close then somehow they fell out and jaruma was like oh that miwa was you know giving money to blogs to write stuff about her and now miwa is in the news because she got pregnant for um someone who is also a business partner to um Tony Lawani. But some people somewhere are saying that it was not just business, who, that there was some kind of fellowshipping stuff that was going on between this man you see here, who is known as Kola Kalabo. Yes, he owns this um herbal company that also deals with um enhancements for your fellowshipping life and all that. Yes, and we always see this product being um promoted by Twain Lawani. So people were and some people are saying that you know it was more than just business. Now Miwa now got pregnant for this man. Now this man is a married man. And Miwa is a known Kanya Mata seller. They will tell you, oh use this product oh you're gonna find rich young man. No you now the question is does these things actually work? Because like how can you be you know selling a house to me telling me you have plenty house to sell and you you are living in a you know face me i face you but you want to sell me something that will make me get a duplex do you get what i'm saying how can you be selling kanya mata and all you can trap is a man that is married 
I'm not going to put the wife's picture, even though the man later posted. You know what? Let me just put it. Um, this is the wife's picture where the man yesterday night posted the picture of both. Now, I find this very insulting. I'm not going to lie. He posted the wife's picture, like the legal wife, the original wife's picture and Miwa's picture. Now, Miwa, like I told you, is the one that got pregnant for him. He now posted their pictures side by side and that posted stay strong this shall pass love always can you what like hmm, hey god <laughs> what is this this is very disrespectful to the wife if you ask me i mean why would you post the picture of your wife together with another person i know okay fine um his religion allows it but then you've not married this other one now or am I the only one that shares this thought? Let me know what you think. You know, so now this is a drama that has been happening. Now, how did Jaruma come into the mix again? So when the news, you know, was flying around that Miwa, Miwa yes, Miwa's signature, that's the name of her company, got pregnant for a married man. Yes, so a married man with kids. So yes, that was how Jaruma now started singing her own song of praise that finally you oh, that her enemy has been disgraced Ngwano, let us listen to jaruma this thing is sweet me die it sweet me die you know in a day they were posting me every day on top blog in a day they'll post me seven times on a blog anything to tarnish my image just carry your anything to destroy my name my repetition spoil my brand everything in a day they'll post me seven times on a blog let me tell you something if Kola Kolabo sees his wife on a blog, he, he knows, knows who sent it. it. He knows. He knows who sent it. He knows. He's the moment you post his wife on a blog, you want to tarnish the wife's image, you want to spoil the wife's name. He knows who did it. He knows already. He the knows. moment Kola Kolabo sees his wife on a blog, he knows who did it. She just can't This thing, and if you are not careful, eh, because of that, eh, your child will pay the price exactly. because you cannot be posting his wife on blog just to spoil her name and tarnish her image, just to destroy her. If Kola Kolabo sees his wife on top of he knows the person that yes people of god that was jaruma now my own issue in this video is number one who is the, why are they vibrating like that who is the hype woman that is hyping her in the background i don't understand number two leave the child out of it you know leave the children even if i if not that the man posted the wife's picture i would have also said leave the wife out of it in fact leave the wife out of it because this woman is innocent and her name is being dragged in the mud because of the community husband that she has you understand and this is jaruma saying that basically this is karma you know that after miwa because jaruma has always said that miwa used to pay blocks to tarnish her name now now why are those blocks not you know posting about me what is and the blog she's actually talking about is none other than just lover's blog but just lover came ah yesterday you guys go check out the blog you know just lover was like no 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 you cannot talk to me and i'll sit down and take it she actually he or she i don't know um actually finished jaruma yesterday it was ah the street of violence people of god it was crazy at some point i was like what is going on is there a hidden agenda between these two that we do not know anyways um people of god that is what has happened you know and this further makes me think that maybe this kanye mata saying you know maybe they should come out clean and tell people what exactly this kanye mata is for because if when i decided to do a research on what kanye mata is all about the original purpose it's all about enhancing your fellowship in life and all that but this people are making it seem like oh come and buy this product to 350,000 or 30,000 or 10,000 or it will make you get rich man or it will make you get handsome man that will not you know those kind of claims and yet ah we see where they always end up you know people of god it's really really crazy that is what has been happening people of god and also they said that jaruma and tiana who i showed the her picture has been you know putting hands together you know because they've believed that uh miwa took away you know the man that has also been greasing their palms people of god or the the problem you know wahala no the finish in these streets of you know media and everything in this streets of social media wahala i know the finish at all at all you know normally will i talk about stuff like this no but because 
you know, it's my work. What can I do? I have to talk about it. People of God, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section. And also, another thing that actually got me laughing was the fact that this other lady, Miwa, yes, she is a one, came out to say that she doesn't know that this man is a married man. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and see if you want to lie i beg now i beg now suffer suffer the lie the lie haba this man is a well-known man i mean his product his his is his, his, his yeah his product is like everywhere you know if you are into social media and into the media in nigerian you know entertainment scene you will know that this man is actually very popular so how can you not know that he's married I mean, you are a socialite yourself. I mean, anyways, people of God, EK Guru. Thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel. And please do not forget to check out my girl, Tessis Connor. And you will not be disappointed, trust me, people of God, because her channel is actually worth it. I'll drop the link in the description box and also pin it in the comment section. Thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Till I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ Williams. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Bye, guys.